Well, America is turning into a nation of snackers. It's a big lifestyle in the U.S. Take a look at these numbers. 49% of consumers enjoy three or more tasty treats a day. Now, those numbers increasing 8% in the last two years. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma is here to weigh in. So, Brooke, it's clear that the snacking economy is extremely valuable to consumer staple companies. Good morning, Rochelle. That's right. All eyes on snacking this morning after the major acquisition of Twinkie's pairing company hostess by SJM Smuckers. Now, of course, with that being said, we're seeing younger generations really drive growth when it comes to the snacking economy. According to a recent survey, 18 to 44 year olds are leading the charge when it comes to snacking three times a day. Now, younger generations, as you can see here, really fueling that growth with 25 to 34 year olds saying that they snack three times a day. That's a majority of them coming in at 68 percent. Now, hostess executives say that consumers are taking more of a balanced approach when it comes to snacking. They're saying that about 20 percent. Uh, they're saying that indulgent snacks are growing at a 20 percent rate faster than healthier occasion snacks, those healthier options. When it comes to that balanced approach, they're saying that the number of snacking occasions throughout the day is growing as well with consumers sort of picking and choosing more times throughout the day that they want to grab that Twinkie perhaps. And so with that being said, we saw in Hostess' latest quarter results that they considered themselves a pure play snacking company. And while demand dropped slightly due to higher prices, they did get a boost in revenue last quarter. Executives have since said that they paused price hikes, hoping to once again fuels growth in snacking. And James Mucker also said that revenue growth, and that was boosted by a 13% increase of volume and price mix. And so certainly other names to watch in that snacking price include Hershey's, General's, as General Mills, as well as Mondelez. And so all snacking will be watching very closely, especially after that acquisition. I mean, and you have to imagine between the stress of the, you know, the pandemic, the pandemic and everything else, you've got stress eating, comfort eating. It makes sense that the, the snacks would be doing well. Now, Brooke, you also spoke to JM Smucker's CEO, Mark Smucker, on the company's acquisition of Twinkies Maker Hostess Brands. So then what will this mean for Smucker's portfolio? Right, Rochelle. Well, that deal coming in at $5.6 billion. Now, it's expected to close in early January at the end of Smucker's fiscal third quarter. And uh, Mark Smucker, J.M. Smucker's CEO, jumping right to what this means when asked about his portfolio, jumping right to snacking, saying, quote, it expands our access to snacking occasion like different times a day. People are looking for a sweet snack versus a salty snack versus a protein-based snack. This obviously expands us into that sweet sort of reward, if you will, kind of snack. Now, in addition to that, other assets that he said will add to the portfolio is better access for convenience for uh, J.M. Smucker. Think those Uncrustables, an opportunity there. Whereas on the flip side, for a hostess, Smart believes that this will present hostess with an opportunity for a better middle aisle of retail stores that uh, J.M. Smucker knows very well, especially with that assortment of jams and once again in the frozen aisle with those Uncrustables, which is nearly an $800 million company. In addition to that, uh, J.M. Smucker also weighing in that this presides solid innovation capabilities that both brands bring to the table. And so, of course, I had to ask if we'll see a jelly-infused donut. He said, never say never. And lastly, in addition to that, he said that he hopes to take this opportunity to amplify Hostess Brands' consumer marketing. And so certainly, consumers can expect more marketing play when it comes to getting Twinkies in front of consumers, similar to what we've seen with that mega growth of Encrustables. But both here, major snacking companies really looking to get in front of consumers as, once again, people are snacking more than perhaps pre-COVID. Indeed. Even looking at the stock prices, I mean, we're seeing both Hostess and J.M. Smucker on now on Yahoo Finance's trending ticker. J.M. Smucker, though, under some pressure, but Hostess, at least, seeing some gains there, up almost 20% on the day. A big thank you there to our very own Brooke De Palma. Thanks so much.